but a defense attorney said Jessica Chambers told firefighters who found her near her burning car that a man named Eric set her on fire not the person charged with her murder, Quinton Tellis. The horrific circumstances surrounding the former high school cheerleader's death garnered national attention. Security is tight the jury is being sequestered and spectators are being screened through metal detectors before entering the courtroom. He said Tellis repeatedly lied to investigators about spending time with her in the hours before she was found. He also said that Tellis had repeatedly asked Chambers for sex, and she had told him no. Champion said cell phone records show that Chambers and Tellis, who had met about two weeks before her death and had become friends, were together twice on the day she was burned. Citing statements Tellis made to investigators, Champion said Tellis and Chambers had sex in her car later that evening. Champion said he believes Tellis suffocated Chambers and thought he had killed her. Tellis then drove Chambers' car with her inside it to the back road, ran to his sister's house nearby, jumped in his sister's car, stopped to pick up gasoline from a shed at his house and torched Chambers' car and her, Champion said. Horrific burns, Champion said. Horrific pain. Chambers was found walking on the road wearing only underwear in 40-degree temperatures when a passing motorist spotted her shortly after 8 p.m., Champion said. Her car keys were later found nearby, and they had Tellus DNA on them, Champion said. Authorities have said previously that Chambers was on fire when she was found. Champion said Tellus first told investigators he only saw Chambers on the morning of her death. Tellis later acknowledged they were together in the evening, saying he met her to sell her marijuana and had sex with her in her car, Champion said. The prosecutor also said Tellis' alibi was fabricated. Defense attorney Darla Palmer said Tellis is wrongly accused. She said Tellis was buying a prepaid debit card miles away in Batesville at the time Chambers was burned. Palmer also said eight first responders who treated Chambers asked her if she knew who did it. She said, Eric set me on fire, Palmer said. She didn't say any other name. In his opening statement, Champion acknowledged that the first responders did hear her say the name, Eric or Derek. Champion said she could have been saying tell us, but the damage done to her throat made it sound different. Palmer told jurors that tell us never confessed to the killing. He insisted this is not something he would do, Palmer said. About 20,000 telephone numbers were analyzed in the investigation. Witnesses will include cell phone data experts, Champion said. Tellis faces another murder indictment in Louisiana, where he's accused in the torture death of Ming Chen Shio, a 34-year-old Taiwanese graduate student at the University of Louisiana at Monroe. No trial date has been set in that case.